The Maxpedition Agent. This is a brand new bag design by Maxpedition. It's just incredible styling, which is typical for Maxpedition. But most importantly, it's built like a tank. The Agent bag has so many cool lines to it. Uh, it reminded me a lot of maybe going on safari. But then once I started looking at it, it's more like the old doctor's bag to keep a lot of gear, but yet compact, easy to carry. And I think that's really what they were going for. But I think that the styling on this bag, to me, it really kind of goes another step above what Maxpedition typically does. It'd be great for an overnight bag or even a couple of days. It's got a good size to it. Uh, it's 24 and a half inches in length. It's 14 inches in height and 14 and a half inches wide. So you've got a really good sized bag and there's a lot you can do with it. Just a little over three and a half pounds at 3.6 pounds. It's made from ballistic nylon and it's a thousand denier so it's really strong and you're gonna get a lot of wear out of that. Maxpedition always puts a nice Teflon coating which keeps grime, it keeps wear resistant down. If you ever get this bag dirty or any of Maxpedition's gear, you're just supposed to take a damp cloth and wipe it off and let it dry. But one of the things that they do that I really love, and probably one of my favorite features of Maxpedition, is the triple polyurethane coat. And that makes this impervious to water. In fact, we're going to pour some water on here. And as you can see, it just runs right off. Let's do it again. <laughs> I love it. My Glock 26 is sitting back here, and I wouldn't do that otherwise if it wasn't for Maxpedition. Of course, you have your standard grab handle. Now, there's a Velcro pull here, which you're gonna hear it if it opens, and then you have your strap. The strap is sewn in, so it allows for easy placement, and then pull your Velcro straps over. It also has a great shoulder strap, and this is removable and adjustable with the shoulder pad. For this bag, I really like the thinner strap. It's about a one inch strap. It makes it a little more flexible, a little easier to carry, get it out of the way. Then on each end, it has grab handles. And of course, these are super reinforced. You have the box X stitching. Uh, the strap itself is doubled over on each other. On the other side, you have the same thing. So if the bag is placed like this, or you're picking it up from somewhere, you can grab it, pick it up. So three different separate options, which makes this really versatile. On the front side of the bag, you have some really cool zippered compartments. You have just a standard little compartment here with the uh, YKK zippers, paracord pulls. Then you have this little pocket sleeve that actually goes behind the zippered pocket in the front. So this gives you a little more room. In fact, as you can see, it's pretty deep and has a lot of room. Has more of a nylon finish instead of the Kodura. And this is stain resistant. Little hook and loop field. Of course, this little flag is not included with the bag, but you can get these on Maxpedition. They're vinyl. They're pretty cool, actually. And just to go right here, helps identify your bag and also shows your patriotism. Here we have PALS webbing. It's Molly compatible. And then we have double YKK zipper pulls. Open this up. This is really great. This can even fit maybe one of the pouches that Maxpedition has. You can kind of slip it in here. Again, with the nylon shelf here, little cavity, give you a lot of options. You can see here on the side, the depth of the pocket itself, recessed, makes it really look very finished and very nice. Of course, it has this nice wide strapping, and then you have your box stitches right here that stitches in the carry handle. So that really gives you a lot of strength here and you have your wider webbing here. This is two inch webbing going all the way up, nice and sturdy. This is not gonna give you any surprises. It's not gonna come loose. Box stitching as well here and here. And that box stitching is reinforced. It's not going anywhere. Then you have a little section here that's Velcroed in. You can pop that out. And this really will allow you, if you're having on some rollaway luggage, that you can slip this through and put it on top of the luggage. Have a nice zippered compartment with a hook and loop field. Of course, this isn't included. Have one of the concealment holsters from Maxpedition and my little Glock 26 fits really nice in there. Again, you can't even tell there's anything really in there. Now this is something that I wanna point out. And at first, I wasn't really sure what this was for. But the strapping that covers your zipper all the way across, in fact, you can lift it up, see the zipper. This keeps your zipper covered as it comes down with this strap, this actually buckles. And what it does is it secures right here so someone just can't come running by and just unzip this bag. Now you have double zippers 
Again, you can open this really up nice and wide. The bottom flattens out. This gives you a lot of room. It really opens up this bag if you're putting things in here. In fact, one of the recommended uses for this is a tool carrier. Load your tools in here and it really makes it nice to be able to get it wide, open, access whatever you're doing. Now one thing that I forgot to add is this there is a steel rod that runs all the way through here it actually bends down and then it's on the other side and this really gives a lot of support to the bag and of course this is stitched in to the webbing itself you can barely see it here but you can feel it and it's strong and it's going to give you a lot of support it actually comes all the way down right about here and then here so it allows for you to have flexibility with the opening of the bag but it sure does give you a lot of strength the interior is a more of a nylon finish really smooth it's going to protect it's going to keep from getting stained on this side we have a nice big field of hook and loop you can put different pouches accessories that are offered of course sold separately on Maxpedition's website open this up a nice little sleeve pocket have two d-rings here to be able to hook different things your keys different items now here we have two mesh pockets on the other side and they're held together by these small Fastex buckles and this is an elastic band that fits here same thing with the other side so it retains items in the pocket and yet you can get right to them if you need to or if you want to secure it bring it forward now down at the bottom on each side is a band of elastic webbing and it allows you to put items in here and secure them different size items there are three loops on one side and there are four loops on the other just different sizes different tensions but this is a nice roomy bag now the bottom of the bag has rubber feet or shoes that are sewn in on all fours and this really keeps things off the ground it keeps it from scuffing and it also is skid proof so if you have this on something a little slick it's going to get a little traction now this is in the khaki version it also comes in black and then it comes in a khaki with foliage accents but it gives you three different color options now maxpedition does make a little bit smaller version of this called the handler of course you can go to the maxpedition website and get all the specs for it because there's not a whole lot of molly attachment and because it does have more of the classic lines it's not as tactical as a lot of the maxpedition bags are and this gives you another option to look classic but yet looks really good now, as far as pocket sizes and everything, you can get all of those specs on the Maxpedition website and just put agent in the search and it'll pop this bag up. There's a lot of detail there as well. Now, if you go to the Maxpedition website, you get a 10% discount when you use Such00 in the coupon code. And that's the way it's always been. Whatever you order on the Maxpedition website, Tim will give you a 10% discount, which is great. And I want to say thanks to Tim and Maxpedition for letting me check this bag out and give it my big thumbs up. Maxpedition. You're doing it right. Now I want to preface this with saying that I am a huge Maxpedition fan, and if you've watched the Suits channel at all, you know that. I've had Maxpedition products for years, and they have never let me down. And I carry and use Maxpedition on a daily basis. My EDC bag is Maxpedition. So this is a review of all the features of this bag. This is not a paid endorsement. I don't get a dime for doing this. I just love their products, and if you're looking for a good bag with these kind of features, then I'm going to highly recommend the Maxpedition Agent. There's an old saying, you buy cheap, you buy twice. With Maxpedition, you're going to buy this once, and it's going to last you a lifetime. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. next door neighbor's cutting his grass while I'm making my video but I guess he's getting back at me for all the shooting I do here regularly and that reminds me I guess I need to go do some shooting <laughs>